I'm Chance Lingle with Accuracy Outdoors, and I'm here today to talk to you about the services that we offer here. We are a gunsmith shop that does complete refinishing, hot bluing, dura coating. We clean firearms. We do basic gun work. Um, we can even build AR rifles for you. Uh, in this process today, I'm going to talk a little bit about our bluing process and how we go about doing that. We offer four different types of finishes in our bluing. Uh, we do a basic finish in which we wire brush the metal and blue it. We do a textured tactical black in which we actually blast the metal um, to give it a parkerized look. We also do a satin black finish in which I use a different uh, media to give it a non-glare satin finish. And then of course we do your high polish finishes all the way up to an 800 grit. Um, all of our finishes are done by hand. Uh, we don't use any polishing machines because they have a tendency to roll your edges or cut down your lettering on your firearm. So we do ours by hand. Um, now I'm going to kind of give you an idea how we go about the bluing process. Um, I have some uh, firearms here that are ready to be blued. Uh, the metal's already been prepped on them. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take them and put them in our cleaning solution, which will remove any dirt and oil from the firearm that we haven't been able to uh, remove. So we'll start with doing that. Okay. We simply put it in the solution. Okay. Okay, the first step is we're going to put our our firearms in the cleaning solution. We're going to leave them in this cleaning solution for about 30 minutes. Uh, let that remove any residue that might be on the metal uh, before we rinse it and go to the cleaning salt. Okay, it's been roughly about 30 minutes and we're going to do the second step in our brewing process now, which will take the firearm out of the cleaning solution and give it a good rinse. We're going to do that now. It's crucial to have a good flowing water tank. Uh, this will ensure that it gets all the soap and detergent off of your metal before you go into the bluing solution. Small parts. All right, we're gonna give it a good rinse, let it rinse in the clean water. We're going to go straight from the clean water into our bluing solution. You have to be careful putting this in. This stuff will blow up on you. Very dangerous. Okay. Next are parts, small parts, drop them in. And we're going to leave this in the bluing solution about 30 minutes and uh, we'll show you what the finish looks like. Okay, the next to the last step in the process is we're going to remove our firearm from the hot salt blue. And this is a, some dangerous stuff, so you want to be very uh, careful where I wear a heat glove and face protection. This stuff pops on you, it will burn. Alright, we're going to take it out and go straight into our cold water rinse. Okay. Be careful not to let it pop up on you straight into cold water rinse. All right. Now I'm going to rinse this down, rinse some of the salt off of it, and then we'll move it into our water displacing oil. 
Okay, here's our finished product. This is a 1911 that we've done. See the beautiful uh, even coat on the, the metal that we wanted. Looks good. Uh, we're going to put this now in our water displacing oil. We're going to leave it in there about an hour. Um, afterwards, we're going to do some other stuff to this 1911 that we offer here at Accuracy Outdoors. Uh, we're going to gold plate the trigger, do a little gold inlay on, on the uh, slide, and uh, we've done a trigger job and all on it. So this will be a nice pistol for someone. Okay, we're going to place it in our oil. And then, like I say, we'll leave that in there for about an hour. What that will do is that will draw the moisture out of the metal. Uh, and uh, keep it from rusting. Along with all the other parts. Oh, that turned out nice. Very nice, very nice. Check out our video and you'll be able to see the finished product. Uh, what all we've done to it and the uh, new blue on it. Thank you for joining us.